Hey guys, let's do equations with mixed numbers today. And let's, again, all this is is just a slight revision of something we've already done before, and which is the, one of the beauties of Saxon, why I love it so much, and I'm sure you do too. More than life itself, and your doggies, and sunshine, and ice cream, and let me, let's just get started. Okay, all right, we know how to do this, right? The way we do this part is we just go, okay, we do the reciprocal, we, uh, you know, multiply by both of those, and then, you know, 12 over 7, can I, oh, look at there, I can cancel that, and the answer is x is 28 over, or 28 over 5, got that, right? Well, what if it looks like this, and you can feel free to pause and copy if you need to. Well, I'm sure you figured it out, you're just going to have to go, okay, I just need to change that mixed number into an improper fraction, and just, so it looks like that, and I just do the same thing, which, if you said that, you're correct, because I can't hear you. All right, well, let's do that. Two and a third, seven thirds, x equals five. Reciprocal, three sevenths, yep. And three sevenths, and there we go. And x is equal to 15 divided by seven, which is about two. Let me see if this makes any sense, though. Um, we say the answer is about two. 2, a little more than 2, times 2 is about 5. Yeah, that's a reasonable answer. So anyway, just a quick way to check yourself. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's look at this one. Uh, 3 and a half times something equals a little more than 4. Well, you tell me. 3 and a half times what equals 4 about? I mean, 3 and a half is almost 4, right? So about 4 times about 4 I mean, uh, times something is four, well then that something needs to be about one, right? A little more than one. Okay, let's just check and see what we get. Three and a half, of course, will be seven halves, times a number is four and one fifth, that's 20 plus one, 21. And we will do the reciprocal here, two sevenths there, and two sevenths there, of course, that always goes away, and k is equal to 21 over seven, that's gonna be three there, and then one there, and then three times two is six, and five times one is one, and there we go. Well, I mean, we guessed that the answer was about one. What is six fifths? What is six divided by one? About one. There you go. That's equations with mixed numbers, okay? Try the practice problem on page 181. First try this one, pause it, and give it a whirl. All right, you might wanna, I mean, just guess before you do this and go, okay, I'm gonna eyeball this thing. About two times some number is about eight. Mm, I guess that's about four. So that's what you should kind of eyeball it and go, okay, I should get an answer like four. That way, if you get something like, hey, I got the answer, is 731 over 11. You go, eh, no, okay. And uh, so let's work with the idea that it's about four. So let's change this into a an improper fraction. Nine over four P is equal to uh, that's 17 over 2, and we're going to reciprocalize this, if that's a word. If not, it should be. Okay, and let's see, 4 over 2, that's going to be 2, and that's going to be a 1. So P is equal to 17 times 2 is 34, 9 times 1 is 9. 34 divided by 9 is about 4. That's a totally sensible answer. Okay, all right, try the second one, see what you get. Okay, you might guess well, the answer is, you know, four times something is three, and it's gonna be less than one, so that's a, that's a good answer. Okay, so let's say 21 fifths times x is equal to seven halves, <clears throat> and the reciprocal is five over 21, and this reciprocal is five over 21, not reciprocal, it's many multiplied by, and seven is one, and then 21 is three, so five on top, and then six on the bottom, that's what x is. Is that a little less than one? Yeah, a little less than one. So totally sensible answer. So, all right, y'all have a great day. Good luck on today's questions. Do the best you can. All right, try to get at least 25 or 27 right. See you next time.